One thing I hate the most is when I can't figure out why my images are blurry or not like the people I see on social media. We're going to learn a little bit about the pros of using a DSL camera to take our social media images. This is perfect for anyone who wants to step up their social media game or possibly become a photographer themselves. I have been a photographer for about 10 years now, so I've watched over a thousand videos on how to work a DSL camera, how to control our um, exposure and our iOS, and then how to shoot in manual compared to autofocus. So we're going to learn a little bit about um, what equipment you need to have a camera, um, a little bit about um, manual and autofocus, and then the benefits of those, and then how to change your iOS in exposure to know um, if your image is going to be um, underexposed or overexposed. So let's dive in a little bit. So first you're going to need a camera body, which is this section here, and then a lens, which can come off of our camera. And you can change it out for different ones too. Then you're going to need a battery and you're going to need SD cards that are compatible with your camera. So once you have that, you're able to turn on your camera. So now we can talk a little bit about manual and autofocus. So if we look up here, you have M and A. So M and A is, M is for manual, which is where you control all of the um, iOS, the shutter, and the exposure of the camera. Now, autofocus is where the camera does it for you. This is very good for beginners or anyone who don't really know the logistics of having to overexpose or underexpose an image for different um, editing person later on. Um, but auto is what I always recommend for beginners just because all you have to do is make sure that you have pose the client how you want to and to make sure that they are in focus and their full body is in the camera if that's what you were hoping to get. So now we know a little bit about the difference between manual and autofocus. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go into manual so I can show you a little bit about um, the different iOS's and exposures you may have it at. So I'm going to set the camera at over underexposed right now. So let's turn that around. So if we see here, we have 640, it's backwards, but that is our iOS for our camera. And then if you see, we have it really far towards the camera. So that is saying that it is underexposed. So we're going to turn the dial this way, away from the camera, actually towards the camera to about 200 right there. And we can see that there is not more on one side to the other. So that is how we know that we have it perfectly exposed and that it is not too dark or too light. So when we have it directly at the 200 mark, we are going to have it look like this. So this is what our camera says is a perfect balance for our image. And then this is, so so let's say we turn it this way, away from the camera, it is going to turn out like this, very overexposed where we can't see anything. And then if we turn it back towards the camera and have it closer to the camera, um, it's going to be underexposed, but just by a little because I didn't turn it all the way towards the camera when I took this image earlier. Um, that's a little bit of the gist of how to basic use your camera. So what I want you to do is to go practice with your family and friends, have them stand even in the same room as you, and to see how those images are and to focus on making sure that they're in focus and to try with auto. Try with auto first if this is your first time ever touching a camera. This is what I want you to be able to do is to take your perfect picture images that you want to post on social media and share with everyone. But once you get comfortable, I do want you to switch to manual and try it yourself and see how you like it. But don't ever stress about it because you will do it. You can do it. Anyone can do it. 